Howdy how howdy how yo what's up guys uh noob slayer and uh, uh I I just got on my computer and I just saw a Halo 4 trailer so just in case if it's really really good I'm thinking I should probably watch it and record my reaction and talk over it and shit so uh yeah uh let's go into it okay this would be embarrassing if it buffers for me but yeah let's go Blood violence. Oh, I wish. Oh, fuck. I made this triple decker sandwich. Oh, it looks so nice, but I don't want to be fucking talking and eating. Oh, Cortana. I'm you giving babe. you the tools, right? I'm giving you the sandbox. I'm lump I'm setting the table for you. Yeah, bitch. But it's up to you to decide what you want to eat. Master <laughs> Chief is human. He's not a machine. What? He's not a set of armor with a big weapon. He's a human. I love you. With resilience and courage you know and i, I was uh, so looking forward to this moment because oh my god Chief, i love you steve down the stoic the soldier the man of few words all that but there was this progression Jenny, you know, in terms of his emotional side even through the first three games but this was going to be the great leap what happens when that soldier oh, starts to... Oh, God. Okay, goosebumps right now. Humanity. We had to create a situation that was going to knock him out of his comfort zone. The Master Chief has, has settled into this comfort Throw zone. Throw him into a strip hero. club. You know, it's, it's interesting. Early on, we talked about the hero's journey. And, like, how do you have a hero's journey when he's already a hero? What That's are the sacrifices that you need to make in order to preserve something as precious as humanity? Nice task. The journey is the important part. The growth is the important part. And so, really, not the where does part. he still need to go as, as a human? Oh, my God. Do you have a sexy... Oh, wait, what? Not just the story of Halo 4, but the entire trilogy. We're really examining what sort of burdens a guardian carries. In a lot of ways, the story that we're telling with Halo 4 is about putting Chief in circumstances where he's forced to change. He's forced to take stock of himself. In a way, Chief is a guardian. Oh my god, Katana yes. is Chief's guardian. The Forerunners were the guardians of their own universe, and they might have to make a decision that not it's everyone is going to do with girl that music. some people might condemn. It's like, it's like Black Hawk Down or some shit. <sighs> Look at her face. It's almost like you're a little kid and you're just playing make believe again. So you imagine everything. The table's here. Oh my god, like I'm, oh my god. The is here. There's a window how, here. Well, how would they make a but game look so nice? Making Halo 4 a hero awakens. Oh my god, I love you, Master Chief. Just look at me in the eyes right now. How can we immerse the player even more in this world that we've built? Oh. I'm not doing this Ghost for right. mankind. How can we oh, that's awesome. have Chief have to deal with his own humanity? Everything had to oh be my god. by what the character needs were and what direction the characters needed oh, to go. Oh, you're so go hard. Our direction specifically for Halo 4 isn't about creating an emotional tone for Halo 4. It's about creating an emotional tone for every single First mission. <laughs> the player needs to understand. Similar to what we said is that you know we build what we need to see. Oh wait, what? Well, okay, the background. Too far this way, it starts to fall apart. <laughs> but, <laughs> but back in here, things are looking good. Wow. The film is like I'm gonna create something and it's gonna be awesome and I'm gonna polish it and I'm gonna own it, but I'm gonna share it with you, which is very different than game storytelling. Three, four, three. Is, I'm gonna give you all the dreams. Tools, I'm gonna give you all made. the possibilities, and it's up to you to discover it answering questions and answering the directions that the narrative had already taken to find the path forward for us as we started to tell the story. We're always telling these huge, big stories. We've got Infinity, it's the biggest ship that has oh, ever been launched. We've got Requiem, which is like the biggest Forerunner artifact we've ever found. But in the middle of all of that, we've got this very small personal story between Master Chief and Cortana. Come on, just kiss. Story with every detail that you put into a game. Immersion is really what allows somebody to believe Oh my god, what the hell? become emotionally caught up in your universe. Ready to get back to work. <laughs> I thought you never end. What? How do we make sure the sets and the sounds and things so that they're feeling as a player inhabiting that suit really comes through more clearly. And you know, technology has allowed us to do that with much higher. I don't value. believe that they're doing this on the 360. Days. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so those are definitely bigger ones. Yeah, those start to get. Just because we've got more people. Let's roll video. Yeah. So this will be just video and audio only. No um, face, no mocap. In that case, you won't mind if we return the face. As we design Shooter. these things, we put together the best plan until it actually touches an actor. 
it lacks humanity. Having the ability to huh. work with the actors on stage, capturing their face, body, and voice it's at the same time, sick. really gives us an opportunity to create a immersive experience for the actors. Working at Giant, we could have at least eight actors in the same What if they have actors for hunters? So the objects that they're acting around and the people that they're acting football with, players. against, through, and toward are there in the American scene with them. Player. And it makes a huge difference. We sent out a breakdown for the characters and how we wanted them to feel. We ended up getting what, 80 or 90 submissions back through our casting team. Casting for the Master Chief is tough. You need a performer that has a really raw physicality to him, and yet he has to, within the confines <laughs> of this suit, be able they to look so ridiculous right now. Emotion. What up, bitches? I like to express myself. I, I freely do it. I wholly do it. I, I enjoy it. And so pulling back on all of those instincts is what's required to play him. Imagine that translating to a 3D model with huge armor and making sure the personality oh my God. movement comes through through that armor you can was you really can see how ugly and they that are. really came down to Bruce's acting, his Chief. physical stature, and really his You're physicality as he went through all Shut of the performance. Back. You'll never see his face or, or hear his voice, but all of the other actors that are playing off of him have received so much from him in their performances, and I think that they would all agree with that. This is the low-res asset of Chief. We were afforded a little bit more budget since he's our hero. From the art process, I love storytelling this music. is just about engaging the player. You don't have to answer any Dude. questions. You don't have to... Anything to piano is the sexy. Player. The player is engaged. I think you've got to start. So Master Chief's a difficult one because he's a dude in a helmet. There's such a, particularly in science fiction, such a, a fantastic... He's a dude in a helmet. ...completely realized as people without having their face as a tool. For us, it's making him feel like a real person. We have a nude male sculpt, and then from there we sculpt it Confirmed. on physically. Confirmed. Master suit. Chief. And on top of this guy, is black. When we like spend time just doing all the details and trying to add some of that functionality, even little bits here and there, like rail. And this just reads 117. I think it's connected. Ha! <laughs> that's even jokes. Not only visual flow. So blind people can read Master Chief. Design, the way you have blind people going and Master feeling up Master Chief. Oh my god. An area where it feels realistic, but it feels kind of tankish. What do you think of a tank? You think square? You think like metal? There's some like wear and tear on the edges. So those things we want to grab, put them on the Chief, so it communicates that. The fingers are missing here on these. Uh, they have armor caps that come on. But he doesn't have armor caps on his trigger finger or thumb finger so that he could have more tactile sense when he's shooting and loading his weaponry. God. And we just changed his visor. His visor picks up the elements based on the room that he's it in. It goes so We want to take every inch of the character design. to oh tell a story as much as we can. Above all, he still needs to connect to the player and they still need to understand him as being that character. It's somebody who's been very loved over the last 10 years. That Cortana and a. Oh my god. She came out of her the Pokeball. You're right, is that we have a character who's not human at all in Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. She is the most human character that we have in the story. Right? She's struggling with her own mortality. AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. That's something that everybody's. Oh my God, Chief! Most, Comforter. You know, human it gets. If we can just get back to Earth, then I'll Halsey. buy you ice cream. She can fix this. Halsey. Everyone has to figure what? out. What? what it means to to die that bitch she's is back. strong she's convicted she herself is going through confirmed you're going to earth in hail for time and understand yep you heard her you heard first here her. people on hail you for somebody who really could bring just fire and stuff that's required for some of those sequences i want to go to europe i've never been there someone that had some innocence if they go to africa i'll be so pissed fuck mombasa if you imagine that you could have 20 emotions at one time she has the, i will not allow you to leave this Planet! She's really the heart of the game and the heart of Master Chief and explains what's going God, on. God, this why game is so fun. different. I didn't mean to do that. Cortana is certainly our biggest human. God, she's got to make me cry. Story. You know, how can we see these subtle details in her facial structure? It's the forerunner symbol for Reclaimer. So this is the baseline where we started for Cortana. And then we go through the and tweak and modify. Having all these different elements moving throughout her that the make you feel alive constantly. We wanted to make it Ew. to where you could have nice. code flow lines start from every digit from her toes to her hands and then be able to flow all the way up into her head. What you experience is her Holy taking care shit. of you as a player from a gameplay perspective, but I think you also start to get a sense of how she takes care of the human side of Chief. Wake me. <laughs> oh my god, I just and shit myself. Steven and having them layer their voices over the character performances in the cinematics, that just brought the whole experience together. You look at it's just really hard to breathe right now. Had over the course of the franchise, and it's not a lot. Awesomeness just kicked it. 
and yet people shit. will immediately call you out on the Master Chief's voice being something very distinctive and important to them. The funny thing is that they've had this off-screen chemistry because they didn't actually meet until last year. Not only is this the first time they've ever sat together on a panel, this is the first time they've ever been in the same room or even met. So seeing them meet and seeing them have that chemistry kind of messed and up. how they acted together in scenes just felt like we just missed this opportunity for all these years to actually get them together and get something even more memorable and more exciting out of them. In the beginning, they were great choices for those characters. You know, Steve has this very stoic personality that comes through in his few Probably words. Down. The same way Jen's voice is confident and it's strong, but it can also oh be Oh my powerful. god, punch that dino. You do know you don't have to wait until the last minute just to impress me, right? <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Halo 4 is the first act. I love those silly little lines they have. to be able to ask themselves what it is to be a hero. Is the sacrifice worth it? I often think of him as like Atlas, you know, like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders all the time. Chief and Cortana. That's a good reference. Oh my she god. Has always been the reflection of his humanity. People don't play Halo to it's watch the opera, and yet you don't want to just be kind of pulp. Holy shit! To what me, the hell? It's a natural progression. It's going. Story, and it takes this relationship. I'm really scared the place right now. it should go to. That was. Oh my god. Don't. Make a girl a promise you can't keep. I think I'm gonna shit myself. Oh my god. Okay, that was. Uh, I, have I have a teary eye. Just. Okay, don't call me a nerd! Okay. Uh, um, okay, that was epic. I wasn't like this happy for Halo 4, and now I'm like. Okay, I'm not crying, okay. I got allergies. And, uh, yeah, that was just so, like, they didn't even need to show, like, guns and explosions to, like, freak me out. Oh, my God, that was so sick. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm such a weirdo. Oh, my God. But, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, later, guys, I'm going to go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. You guys can watch it without my uh, voice or whatever. Just go It's going to be everywhere on the internet. But uh, I just felt like doing this because I didn't watch it. It's pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, so uh, later, guys. And, uh, yeah, so.